Hello friends, I'm Chromatic Sauce and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, you guessed it, or you read the title, I'm not sure, you probably read the title. Uh, I got my sketch box, so I'm just going to be unboxing the sketch box premium for May. Dang, it's May already, May 2021 just flying by for me I don't know about you let me know so let's just get on into it okay let's see you know a lot of places tape up all the seams but they just have one little strip of tape across the whole thing this time I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to take the paper out and take everything out and look at it and then I'm going to grab it a separate piece of paper and swatch them all instead of swatching them all as I take it out because I feel like that's been slightly unorganized in the past. <laughs> but you know I'm not the best at organization anyway but yeah I'm going to empty everything first then do the swatches. Okay, paper, just trash. I just feel like there's gonna be more stuff. Oh, it looks like pastels and stuff. Frederick's Cantone. Oh, it's like three little baby palettes. Acid free acrylic primed for use with oils and acrylics. I don't know if that's the way. That's awesome. Pre toned medium texture artist canvas. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this because it looks like it's going to be oil pastels, I think. Okay, oil pastels premium box. Okay, I'm mostly a chalk pastel kind of person, so this is going to be different for me. So there's, I don't know where to put this box. So there, I picked up three things at once for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. This is a Durant Light Fast made in Britain wild lavender I don't know if that's just a colored pencil I'll have to read the paper then there's this brush and it's just sketchbox brand sketchbox signature oh it's like a like a silicone kind of brush so I'm assuming that's for blending and stuff I thought it would be regular brush and then it looks like another just regular colored pencil I have to look at the paper but this one is permanent color Pablo Karen Dash Swiss made and it's in charcoal gray okay so another color pencil I guess okay let's do this first artist oil pastel so it's definitely coloring the inside of this bubble wrap I feel like bubble wrap is kind of a weird choice for wrapping this. Like you would think it would be in some sort of better packaging because like now where I'm gonna where am I gonna put this? Like normally oil pastels would probably come in something I can put them back into so they don't get all over everything. So now I'm just gonna have to keep putting them back into this bubble wrap. Oh yeah, and it's really sticky. I guess they were making sure they got this in here before it got even warmer outside, because right now it's like 80 degrees outside, so it's pretty warm. Wish they gave it to us last month, because literally the blue is all over the inside of this bag, and there's some blue all over this like peachy color. I guess this is the color coral. Let's see if I can read in here. Mm, okay, gotta get in there. It's just messy. I'm gonna be like so messy. Ugh. Don't like this packaging. English gray. So that's blue though. I guess the English don't know what the color gray is, but I like gray and blue, so that's cool. But you can see the blue got all over the outside of this one. So I'm just gonna leave that on top of this bubble wrap, I guess. Then it looks like we have three, okay these are actually, looks like they're boxed up 
like better. Three of the same thing. Ooh, and the sticker for this month. Oh, yeah, it just looks like this sticker is much more boring than... Actually, I'm gonna be honest, all the stickers that we've gotten have been pretty boring. <laughs> but this one is... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how else to say, but exceptionally boring. So let's get into these three things I just took out, though. Indian Red. I guess I... I feel like these are gonna be chalk pastels. I just want them to be chalk pastels. I would have enjoyed them better. Oh my gosh, warning cancer. It doesn't say risk of cancer, it just says cancer, but only on the white one. So the white one is cancer, so that's cool. Cholbane, I guess is the brand. And then I was like, let me, let me do the swatches after so it's more organized. And here I am just being like, Cholby, cancer, like, but yeah, the white one has a risk of cancer, probably in California or whatever, because you know, everything has a risk of cancer in California, because they're healthier than the rest of the world, I guess. I don't know. But these are made in Japan, though, so maybe they also have a risk of cancer in Japan. Let me get the scissors and cut one of these open and see what they look like. There's like a little seam here. Or like a ridge I can feel. Okay, so it's just a little cap, but it's still plastic all the way to the top. So once I finish this, this is also oil pastel. Should have known, it says oil pastels premium box, so that does make quite a bit of sense. So this is just olive green, Indian red, which is like a deep, like maroonish color, and then white. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. D does oil pastel ever dry? That's why, that's why I never even used oil pastel before. I mean, I've used it before, but like, I feel like it doesn't dry. I think you have to seal it with something. I remember in high school I did a oil pastel thing, and then there was something that we put over top of the oil pastels to seal it. But I don't know, I don't know what it was. But, but I don't like oil pastels really, because I don't like, they feel like crayons to me. I know they're like better than like crayons, like they're oil based instead of like a wax based thing and they're like creamier and more blendable but I don't know, I just never really got into it. So I figured I would just hop right into the swatches here. This first one is the Karen Darsh Pablo Pencil, I'm sorry, I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Uh, and yes, this is a colored pencil and it is just in charcoal gray. And I see nothing different than any other colored pencil with this one. So, yes, there's that. <laughs> and the next item up here is the Derwent Lightfast colored pencil. And this is in the color Wild Lavender. This one is also, just seems like any other sort of colored pencil. Both of these are sort of harder pencils. But they're pretty good. I don't know, kind of average. Just colored pencils. I like them. Also, just a little side note here, this is not any special artist paper or anything like that. This is just the paper that was covering those canvas panels. It's literally, it seems like a good texture to draw on, so I chose it. The next item up is one of the Sennelier oil pastels. This one, this first one is the English Grey, and if you see I made one bigger swatch and then one little swatch because I'm going to try to blend it out with that blending tool. The next item up is the second Sennelier oil pastel. This one is the coral color. It's a really nice light peachy kind of color. But yeah, I don't know. These two were a lot creamier than the other ones. I don't know how they are with blending as much because of the panel I was working on. 
uh, not like regular paper. I don't know what people normally use oil pastels on. So, but those first two were definitely way creamier. The next one up is one of the Holbin oil pastels that we got. Uh, we got three of them. This first one was the Oxide of Olive color. The second one I'm swatching here is the Indian Red shade. And then the last one was just the white color. And I'm surprised the white one is actually pretty vibrant. It still showed up on this white paper. But actually that fact's not too relevant when we're using a gray canvas. But then if you see, I did a strip right up the side with that white so that uh, I can test the blending with the white into the other colors to see if it helped it blend better or anything like that. Then I took the Sketchbox Color Shaper, which I don't know how much I really like this tool, and I just went and tried to blend everything. Um, the color pencils blended a little bit with this tool. I know it was probably meant for the pastels, but yeah. Every time I blended a pastel, it did leave residue on this. I didn't notice as much, but when you are going into thicker areas of pastel, it can really carve out the color. I know it says that in the description that it's made for carving and shaping, but it also says it's for blending. So it does blend pretty good. Not really on this paper. It blended better on the canvas because it's not like absorbing the oils. But it was pretty good for blending, but the really pointy edge, I kept like angling that down a little bit too far and carving out big chunks of my drawing, which was... A little irritating and then you see me here I'm blending it into the white using the white and then the thicker area of the pastel really helped it blend a lot easier I think my other little swatches were maybe a little bit too small especially on paper but I didn't really see the white show up too much maybe I didn't have enough white on the paper in that spot but it wasn't like super pigmented that it really blended that well anyway but those are the swatches, super formal this time. Let me know how you like it in the comments down below. And of course, the last thing we got was the Fed, was the Fredericks Cantone Canvas Panels. And I really liked them. I know they're only small because that's the size of the box, but I really like the gray color. And I like that it's not just some little tiny sheet of paper. It's actually something kind of substantial, even though it's small. So for this one, I wasn't sure what to draw, but the drawing that I did in high school with oil pastels had a mouse on it, so I figured, hey, maybe I'll take that as my inspiration and go ahead and try to draw a mouse. So I just googled pictures of mice and found one that I liked, and I changed it up a little bit. I made this mice is going to be pining for some strawberries hanging above, and it's just sitting on a little stem and it's super cute and obviously I'm changing the colors a little bit this original mouse was a brown mouse so you just see me here I'm sketching the outline not being too technical with it I know oil pastels are not really the medium that is made for the most detail especially when working in something on this size so I just did general shapes that I knew wouldn't be too hard to fill in and I really enjoy my choice of the mouse because I think it's super duper cute. And yeah. Now to decide what colors. The only black they gave me was this. Well, it's actually charcoal gray. And then I'm supposed to use lavender for details. So I don't know how that's going to work. How this draws on top I guess it does kind of draw on top of everything pretty decent oh wait that's itself it doesn't like fully cover but like it does a pretty good job like penetrating so I think I'm gonna I want to decide what color to make the mouse maybe so I can use all the colors. I'll just start with the green and do... I'm afraid the gray background is going to make the whole thing really dark, but I'll put the green where the green goes on the strawberries, on the leaves and stuff. I just don't want to mess all over my hands, but maybe I'll just have to suck it up. Yeah, I'll just have to suck it up. Hmm. 
Now they said this one was like blendable, like chocolate though. But I really doubt that. I really doubt that. Well, I guess you can blend oil pastels to make them like... I don't know, I just like it. I mean, I like the sketch box because it gets me out of my comfort zone. Otherwise, I would just be playing with color- well, actually, I guess they gave me colored pencils, so it didn't add any variety in that department, but like, I would not be using oil pastel, like, I, I, like, sometimes I think about oil pastel, then I go, nah. I don't know, lay this down. Ugh, I'm already a mess. Let me see if this blends or if I need to just add a lot more. It kind of blends. actually having a lot of fun. That's the thing about the sketchbox is like, like I was not planning on drawing a mouse. And then here I am drawing a mouse with oil pastels, which I a thousand percent would not be doing probably ever if I didn't have something like the sketchbox. to like give me the supplies and like inspire the idea so I really appreciate like to be able to be inspired and like restricting myself to just what they give you especially in this case with the canvas because the canvas is like a huge part of idea in this case meanwhile like when they gave us those markers it was like yeah, like marker paper, but it's just like a little tiny marker paper and it's like, that's just like, they promise you something to draw on because you bought the premium. But this is like, they sort of like had a little concept going and they're like, oh, we want you to do like a little painting on this colored, what is this called? On some sort of colored background, not just like any old thing. And I can appreciate that. And hey, they didn't get me with the accordion book last month, but they got me with this. They got me. Maybe I'll just make the mouse blue and then white on the belly and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm going in. It's a blue mouse. I can get down with the blue mouse. Get down, get down. Blue mouse. So cute. So I can add some like shading and stuff. Cause the mouse I drew from like the mouse in the reference that I looked at was like brown. But why can't this be like blue? I'm gonna add some white to him first. And then I'll do some white at the top of this green stem stem. It definitely uh, blends with the black underneath. I think the white does a lot better 
on top of the other colors. So messy. Probably should have put a paper down, but you know. Okay, now let me just get a base down for the strawberries. Yeah, I think these ones are like much creamier, like they said. So that's why they're like, once the white hit the blue, it was like blending and looking pretty nice. I don't really know what to do about the seeds though, but no. can't run them all. Okay, I'm gonna add this first. And then go in and blend. I'm gonna blend these strawberries now. Yeah, it just picked it up. It's just picking it up. What is the point if it's just picking it up? Because it scoops it like right off and then you can see straight through to the canvas like completely. I'm scared putting a pencil over top is just going to ruin the whole thing. The colors go really nicely together. I'll say that at least. Okay, now I'm going to use the lilac to make like hair strokes. this charcoal again in the little excerpt in the sketch box it said to use the pencils to add detail to the drawing but the pencils were so hard it kind of just scratched away a lot of the drawing and left little pill marks so that's why at times you'll see me dabbing it with my fingers to try to like flatten out those pill marks maybe I could just go in with this a little bit this is where I'm gonna ruin it y'all I think that's it. I think that's. I think it just needed a little bit of a. Something like this. Little we'll pink feet. Maybe. A little pink nose, maybe. I should do like little strawberries in the back. I always do too much, so I'm bound to ruin it if I do little strawberries in the back. Hmm, I'm about to freaking ruin it, I think. I'm about to ruin it. I don't have any clean fingers to blend in. <gasps> I think I like it! I think I like it! Strawberries in the back pocket. It's gorgeous, but they're the same color, sort of. Ooh, I like it! I'm so glad I added more. Oh, 
Okay, gotta be done. I never, ever, ever, ever know where to sign literally anything, so... Like down here or up here? I guess down here is fair. So freaking cute. Now I want to make a big version. Maybe not an oil pastel though. <laughs> wow, I really love the colors. I love the blue. I love the. Oh, I just love it. I think the blue and that coral really like complement each other. Super duper. Please. Super doopy doopy. <laughs> Super duper happy with how this turned out. Let me know if you would like a print. I could definitely send you a print. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see me draw next. If you want to see me use those again, I can try something else. Uh, if you want anything custom, you can. Hit me up on Instagram, you can DM me, I'm at Chromatic Sauce on Instagram too, or you can email me down in the description below, I got my email, if you want to contact me for anything custom, I'm down to do anything uh, for money. <laughs> well, not anything, I always say anything, not anything, but like maybe, depends on how much money you got. Anyway, I'm being weird. Uh, I really love how this turned out. I really love the mouse. It's so cute. I love the colors that they gave us this month. I'm really happy that the only thing that was like Sketchbox brand was that like dumb little blender thing. So like all the actual supplies we got this month seem to be actual like like quality products and not just like made for Sketchbox. I don't know. I love it. I definitely never would have came up with this myself, but I'm definitely glad that uh, I was forced to think outside the box with this color combination and the shape of the canvas, which I guess the shape of the canvas was just because of the shape of the box, but the shape of the canvas really, the shape of the canvas really inspired me to really, uh, do something different like it's a longer picture and I got like I don't know I'm just happy anyway like comment subscribe share I love ya see you in the next one bye okay